guys, today I'm going to show you how to use this uh, 3D Luma Fade transition. So the download link for this will be in the description. If you don't know how to install it, then there's also a link for how to install plugins um, in the description. But basically you just want to download the folder, unzip it and then save it in your transitions folder. Once you've saved it, go to your transitions tab and then it'll be under 3D Luma Fade and there's two transitions, one which fades out the uh, the whites first and then one which fades out the blacks uh, first. Transitioning from that shot to this shot, what I want to do is fade out the sky first. So what I'm going to do is use the white luma fade transition and I want to get a slow kind of fade off of the sky so I'm going to extend it quite uh, to about seven seconds. It's going to work a lot better if you've got some clouds or something in, in the sky rather than if you just have like a plain white sky. So what's really cool about this transition is that if you go up to the top here you've got um, soften which will smooth out the fade. You've got a road which will just smooth out even more and then you've also got the 3D effect for both clips. So you see if I change this, the shot underneath, you can choose whether you want the 3D effect on or off. The same with the uh, the first shot, you can choose whether you want the 3D effect on or off. Another cool feature about this uh, transition is that you can actually add sort of like a glitch effect. If you turn down the, the uh, 3D effect, and wherever you want the glitch effect to happen, what you do is put it to zero, add a keyframe, skip one frame, and then turn it all the way up or to wherever you think it's going to look best. Skip one more frame and then just turn it right down to zero. And that will create sort of like a glitch effect. So yeah, um, check it out. The download link's in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you even miss me sometimes?